What's up YouTube, this is LDS Reliance. I'm back in the solar shed to do a very quick update video. I know I finished this series last time and I'm not doing anything else to the system today, but I realized that I hadn't really shown any actual production of the system. So what I wanted to show today, it's about 9 a.m. right now, and I just wanted to show you what the system's doing at this point and then at a couple more points throughout the day. So. The sun is out, obviously, but is not at an angle for direct sunlight. This is not a peak sun hour. There's this tree in the way, plus it's a little bit cloudy. Uh, hopefully that'll clear up later today. But there's enough light to run the system, especially with an MPPT controller. This is nine o'clock, what it's doing. I will come back at about noon-ish and we'll see what it does then. Okay, so it's about 11 a.m. Obviously the power uh, has ramped up, the production power. I'm now getting almost 350 watts out of the system, but it has not yet gone into the absorbed phase. So we'll check back in a few hours and see what's happening. Okay, it's a little after 12.30 uh, and we're still in the MPPT phase. I was looking through the manual and trying to find out why that is. And I believe that the MPPT phase on this meter corresponds to the bulk phase of the charging cycle. Maybe somebody who's watching can confirm that, but uh, there doesn't appear to be anything in the manual about an MPPT phase. I mean, it should always be using the MPPT technology, but I have seen it go into absorb and float. So, but I've never seen it go into bulk. I think we're still in bulk phase at this point and it should switch into to absorb um, within the next couple hours. We did use uh, the solar, uh, the batteries last night, so it, that's probably why it's taking a little bit longer to go into absorb. Okay, it's a little after two and we did finally go into absorb. I don't know exactly when that happened, but um, so we are in the absorption phase. It will probably switch into float within the next couple hours. So we'll check back a little bit later and it should be in float by then. Okay, so it's about 4.30. We finally got it into float. Um, as you can see throughout the day, the, the watts goes down and that's not because the system can't produce more power. It's just that not, not as much power is, is needed to continue the charging cycle. So um, this will continue to stay into float basically for the rest of the day and that's pretty much the production of the system. I'm hoping if I can clean the solar panels that I can get up to about 470, 460 watts um, maximum power during the day. That would be a pretty good number for this 600 watt system. So anyway, just thought you guys might be curious to see this. Thanks for watching. If this is your first time in my channel, I would encourage you to hit subscribe so you can see more cool videos in the future.